hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm so glad you're here today we are going to be making some sunflower decor i'm going to show you four different diys so let's get started i got this fabric from walmart i think it's 97 cents and you get so much fabric for 97 cents and i just love the vibrant sunflowers on this and i've been really wanting to make some sunflower decor and this actually I have a purpose <laughs> right here I'm going to show you how many projects you can get out of this 99 97 cent piece of fabric holy smokes so using these amazing picture frames from the Dollar Tree you guys know if it has a library tag that's what I call that bottom metal piece on it and I just pick it up <laughs> I just love anything with that on it so I'm just using the back of the picture frame to as my template to cut out the fabric once I have it down to size all I'm doing is putting the fabric back in the picture frame now, earlier on, I told you I have a method to my madness here. Not only am I making sunflower decor, but I am making these to go on a graduation table for my best friend's daughter who's graduating this year. So this is awesome for your farmhouse decor, but um, you can also use it if you have a graduate this year who loves sunflowers. This is perfect to decorate. Our school, we um, after graduation, we have tables that you set up for each child. And each child has a table. Since it's a small Christian school, <laughs> there's not many kids, you know, graduating. Each child has a table, and you get to decorate it. So I just thought this would be perfect for her. So I'm taking the frames. I'm putting them all together, hot gluing them, and then using popsicle sticks to secure the box so that they all stay together. Another idea for this would be to glue two on the bottom and two on top to make a picture frame if you want to go that route. That would be super cute too. But you'll see in the next step why I chose to put them all going side by side. And oh my gosh, she absolutely loves sunflowers. So I'm hoping after graduation, she can put this in her room and decorate it any way she wants. So once you have all your picture frames together, I'm going to go grab some string. It's yellow and white, kind of matching the theme of the sunflowers and some clothespins. And we're going to add some beads to this picture frame. I have these like miniature clothespins I think I got from um, Dollar Tree and right now I'm just positioning them to kind of eyeball how many beads I'll need to put on the string and in between two beads will be a clothespin and you'll see why in a few minutes so I got the size clothespins I want. Now I'm going to grab my yellow and white string. I'm going to add just a little dab of hot glue to the end of the string and I'm going to start feeding my beads through. I opted to use different colored beads. So I'm using the natural looking beads um, and then I'll come in with two dark beads and then another dark bead and then two naturals and that will be for one picture frame. Now the middle ones I did use different colored beads not as dark for the middle part just for contrast just so it wasn't all the same. Once I have all my beads on the string I attach the clothespin in between the dark beads and that's going to hold pictures. I trim off my string so that I can hot glue each corner to the frame. So that's why I cut in between once I had it the way I wanted. I added a little bit of hot glue and I just attach that string to the picture frame. Now don't worry about sh the hot glue showing. Um, we're going to cover that up next.
Okay, so we have our strings in place and now we're gonna cover up those ends. I'm just taking the same yellow and white string, wrapping it around my finger multiple times and then cutting off a little piece and tying it in the middle. Kind of like how we make the little bows. But we're gonna do this two times and we're gonna put these two together, fan them out, and it's gonna mimic a little sunflower. And those little bitty sunflowers is what's gonna go in each corner and that's going to hide where you cut those strings off and hot glue them to the picture frame. In my little bead stash, I had these little dark wooden flat beads, almost they look like washers. And I thought that would be really cute to put in the center of these little sunflowers we made. And it really makes it look like a sunflower, just like the one, the image on the fabric. So I thought that was a neat little touch to really make these look like sunflowers at the top. I love how those little sunflowers hide the strings that we hot glued, and it just kind of ties the piece together. So in the center of each little flower, I hot glued one of those little, I guess we'll call them little wooden washers. <laughs> and they were dark, just like the picture. They also coincided with the dark beads that I had hanging. Look at that, so cute. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love those little bitty flowers and I think they really do look like sunflowers. So now I'm just gonna hot glue one of them down. I'm gonna hot glue the other one going the other direction and then you just fan them out and add your little wooden washers. So right now, after I finished putting on the flowers, I just took the insert out of the picture frames and cut it down so that y'all could see what it would look like having pictures hanging from here. I wasn't going to use her picture because she's kind of shy. I didn't know how she would feel about being on film. I opted at the end <laughs> to do it and show you guys because I really wanted you guys to get the full effect of how cute this is with photos hanging from it. But right now, I'm just going to use one of those inserts. I'm going to cut it down I'm gonna make a little template to fill in those little library tags I made my little template and then I came back in with some black cardboard and cut little pieces down to size and I actually took her graduation invitation and I cut her name and the date and all that and I put it on that black cardboard and I put those inserts inside there and I did put her pictures to show you so I hope she doesn't get too mad at me but I wanted you guys to get the full effect of how beautiful this is with photos and you can put any Thing in those little library tags that you want your um, picture to say but I think this is so cute and it will look so cute on her graduation table. For DIY number two I'm going to use one of those wooden flowered plaques from the Dollar Tree and the love from the Dollar Tree. At the beginning I showed you how I laid this all out on the fabric and I have so much fabric even left over for more projects if I want to do it. I was very pleasantly surprised how much fabric you get for 97 cents. So this one is going to be so simple. Um, all of these pieces I'm making in this video I told you are for her graduation table but I wanted to show you how um, 
you can make something and use it to decorate your own home as well because these are so interchangeable. You could use these for parties if you have one coming up or you can just use them for your farmhouse decor. So I am going to be using spray adhesive and I'm going to just spray it on the back of this fabric and then I'm going to come back in with that wooden plaque and I'm going to flip it over and just set it on the fabric and hold it down for the spray adhesive to adhere to it and I actually do set this project aside and let this dry for a few hours. Once it was dry, all the wrinkles are out, I came back in with some scissors and I trimmed around the edges. If you wanted to, you could do this ahead of time. You could trace this onto your fabric and then trim it, but I didn't want it to, I didn't want to take the chance of it being too short. And I just thought after this was all dry, I could come back in with my scissors, trace around the fabric, and then use a um, sandpaper to go around the edges and remove the extra fabric, which worked perfect. I do want this to hang, so I just took my little tool and poked some holes in where the hole already was through the fabric so that I can attach a piece of twine so that I would be able to hang this. Now we're going to work on that little wooden love words and I love the natural color. There's a lot going on with the sunflower so I just thought it would be better to take a little bit of my coffee bean and just go around the edges and really bring it into the natural wood and just accent those edges. Um, I didn't want this to be a real dark piece so I didn't want to stain this and I didn't want to paint it all with the coffee bean so I thought just accenting these little edges on this love really brought it to life and made it stand out the way I wanted it to. I wanted this to look farmhouse country, so I thought that taking that sandpaper and just going around the edges of this, kind of roughing up that fabric, pulling off that excess, um, would really make this look rustic country. Because I was going to leave this, at this point I was going to just attach the love to it and that's how it was going to stay. I do <laughs> change my mind. so. Really, um, all I did with sandpapering was removing the excess. You couldn't see the rough edges. I just thought it needed something else. So right now I'm taking my hot glue, putting it on the back of the love, and just attaching the love right to the um, fabric. And I just, it needed something. And so I went in my stash <laughs> and I grabbed my rope and I thought that this would look a lot better with the rope highlighting the edges. So I went in, I took, well, right here, I did make a little bow and I put it on top of the O. Um, I did come back in with my rope and I went all around the edges of the sign. And I think that just really finished it off and made this so stinking cute. You'll see.
how cute is that i think the rope really finishes it off and that's just rope i got from walmart and i think it just ties it all in together and it's just a cute little piece that she can put on her table and then maybe put in her room after graduation but this is so cute if you love sunflower and it would go great for your spring or summer decor in your house and it's in that farmhouse theme so i had a wooden cross and i thought that this would be a really cute little accent piece to also put on her table but i love decorating with crosses and this would be so cute on a tray or on a shelf and it's just so simple using the same fabric using that spray adhesive i did it the same way that i did the sunflower i put the spray on the fabric i flipped over the cross i put some spray adhesive on the cross this time i think and i flipped it on the fabric i was just seeing which way was better really either way works so then I cut off the excess just like I did on the flower. And then I'm going to add a really cute little raffia bow to this and wrap some twine around it. Um, I opted to sand the edges of this one down, but I didn't put the rope around the whole cross. I took the rope and just kind of zigzagged it in the center, then came back in with some raffia and made a bow. Such a cute little sunflower cross, such a cute little accent piece, and it just goes perfect in farmhouse decor for your summer or spring decor. So inexpensive and easy to make. I love the raffia. I think that looks rustic country, really makes it pop. And there it is on my shelf and it just adds that pop of color with those yellows. Oh my gosh, I just love this. And it will go perfect on her little graduation table. So the fourth project is using an old bottle. Um, <laughs> my friends save their bottles for me all the time because they know I love to craft. And this was one of my coworkers' juices that she drinks. And I love the brown color of this bottle. So she saved it for me. And we're just going to make a little like kind of quilted pattern on this bottle. I've seen this on Pinterest. I've been dying to do this. So I just took my fabric, cut it, I folded the bottle around. I kind I, I did that just because I wanted to make sure I had enough fabric. I, I don't know. Maybe you don't have to do that. <laughs> it's just me. Then I just came back in with that little piece of fabric I cut, and I just started cutting out shapes. Just random shapes. No rhyme or reason. Just I cut triangles, I cut circles, I cut just oblong shapes. It does, like I said, it, you are going to be piecing this together on the bottle, so you really just start cutting. <laughs> 
So once I had that fabric all cut into little shapes, I came back in with some Mod Podge and I just started attaching those shapes to the bottle. Um, putting Mod Podge on the bottle and then bringing the fabric and putting it right on the bottle. I went all the way around the bottle, just putting shapes where I thought they fit together. They don't have to fit perfect. Um, and it's, oh my gosh, I absolutely love how this bottle turned out. Um, we're going to make this look like cross stitch little patterns on here and it's so cute and so different. I absolutely love it. So just take your Mod Podge, take your shapes and you could cut these shapes smaller. I did a lot larger shapes, I guess, but if you wanted just a bunch of little ones, you could do that too. It's totally up to you. Once I had them all where I wanted them on the bottle, I came back in with some more Mod Podge and I went over the whole bottle, securing those little patterns onto the bottle and let set that aside to dry. So that's what the bottle looks like once the Mod Podge is on and we're setting it aside to dry, come back. You can't see the Mod Podge on the bottle anymore. So I'm taking a white chalk paint pen and I'm adding X's all around the edges. You can put as many X's around the edges as you want. Um, I did, a, some have more than others. Um, and then I come back in with a black Sharpie. And on the points of the X's, I'm adding dots on all of the X's. It makes it look like stitching holes. And <laughs> this is just so cute, oh my gosh. Um, this makes it look like the pattern is actually stitched onto the bottle. So simple, so easy, so unique and different. I absolutely love this bottle. And then after I was done putting little stitching holes on my bottle, look how cute that is. I just came in with some more of that rope and I put rope around the top of the bottle to finish this piece off. I love the rope at the top of the bottle. I think that really just finishes the vase off. I had some little mini sunflower pick and I put that inside the bottle and this will be going on her graduation table as well. 
so cute and so different i absolutely love this if you want a pop of color and you love sunflowers this will go great in your farmhouse decor i hope you guys enjoyed my little sunflower video if you did please consider subscribing to my channel hit that like button and ring that bell for future notifications i hope you all are having a blessed and wonderful day and i'll see y'all next sunday love you guys bye y'all Thank you.